Hi everybody! I'm very happy to be teaming up yet again with the super creative Haniella from Haniella's YouTube channel. She's made these awesome basketball hoop cupcakes and she's created a wonderful tutorial that'll teach you how to make them step by step. I hope you get a chance to visit her YouTube channel so you can see her full tutorial. I'll be teaching you how to make these awesome edible cupcake toppers just in time for March Madness. Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes and today we're going to be showing you all how to make these awesome edible image cupcake toppers. We've chosen a March Madness theme because the games are about to begin. Is That's that correct? correct. Yeah. Okay. So we have here what we have been told by whom? The Associated Press yes. being the top five teams in America right now, right. Coll collegiately. So, we are creating cupcake toppers of the mascots and the logos for these universities and we're going to show you just how easy it is to turn any edible image into an awesome looking cupcake topper just like these. So we hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and let's go ahead and get started. And so what I have here is an edible frosting sheet um, also known as rice paper and we've printed out some really cool edible images on the frosting sheet. You'll notice a little piece missing here because my husband made some little bubble guppies. So what I'm going to do is individually just quickly cut out each one with a pair of scissors. And so which one do we have here baby? We have the Syracuse Orange Men. These happen to be the top five teams in the nation right now according to the uh, Associated Press. And according to you are they? Uh, yeah. Surprising the one you're cutting out right now, the Wichita State Shockers, have shocked everybody. So. Hmm. Where are these from? Oh, Wichita. Duh. Wichita State, yeah. Okay. And then the Arizona. Arizona Wildcats. So these are very, very easy to cut. And as you can see, I'm just quickly just trimming them. And what I like to do is I actually put them in Ziplocs while I'm cutting each one individually and that keeps them nice and moist because these frosting sheets do um, dry out very quickly. Who's this? That's the Kansas University Jayhawks. Jayhawks. You made a figure of him. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. And this guy? That's the Florida Gators. Florida Gators. And you do want to keep them nice and sealed, okay? And then what I do is I actually very carefully cut very close to the line so I'll be cutting very close to the blue line all the way around and I'll go ahead and do that now. I noticed you chose the Florida Gators. Is that who you picked to win the entire tournament? I don't know anything about basketball. <laughs> I tell my husband, you know, as long as, you know, I'm more than happy to go to a sports event with him as long as they have popcorn and nachos and hot dogs and candy. <laughs> I'm good to go. That's all I care about. I can never tell who has the ball anyways. Everything happens so quickly. It's funny how the concession food always tastes better than any other food, you know. It sure does. So I'm starting off with kneading my white gum paste. And of course you can use fondant if you wish. We always prefer to use gum paste because we can um, have them dry a lot faster. We generally like to use white gum paste when we're adding edible images uh, when we're going to use them as cupcake toppers. That way we don't have to worry about any of the color of the gum paste showing through. So the thickness of this is over an eighth of an inch. We usually roll things out about an eighth of an inch but this is a little bit thicker. And so what I'm going to do is carefully detach the edible image from the lining in the back. Okay, and it should peel off very easily, just like that. And then I'm going to take my edible glue and I add just a little bit of glue to the back of the image. Then I carefully flip it over and just place it on the gum paste. And with my finger, just carefully, you don't want to, you know, press on it super hard and, and spread it out. I'm just tapping it just to make sure that it's all stuck. The next thing you want to do is now actually cut it out. Okay, so... Cut it out. Hmm. So I trim the gum paste very close to the edge of the edible image, but not exactly on it. Okay, so I'm going to just trim 
around it as much as possible. And you can also just, you know, to get rid of the excess, just quickly cut away everything that you know you're not gonna need. Just carefully pick it up, and if I do have any little sharp points, you know, you can just use your finger to push them down. All right, guys, so here I have my edible images all glued with edible glue to gum paste, and they're all nicely cut and trimmed. Some, of course, take a little bit more work than others, but they look really, really nice when you are able to cut into the very little details. And so I have them all drying here for now on my foam, and I'm going to set these off to the side, and now I'm going to show you how to prepare the little lolly sticks that are going to be on the back of the edible image and this is what actually you stick into the cupcake to have your logo standing up. So as you can see here I'm rolling it out into a thick worm. I'm going to cut out little gum paste blocks that will be glued to the back of my cupcake topper and this is not that big because I only have five little toppers that I'm working with. So take your rolling pin and we want to leave these blocks nice and thick. I would say these are about maybe a quarter of an inch thick. Okay. And I'm going to cut out some little rectangles or little bricks as I like to call them. And let me show you the thickness very quickly. Okay. About half a finger in thickness and I'm going to take my awesome blade and cut one straight cut and cut a second straight cut Okay. and so I want each brick to be thick enough to where I can insert a lolly stick. This lolly stick is four inches long and this is what we usually use for our cupcake toppers and it will be going in about this much into each brick. So I'm going to take my blade once again and I'm going to cut out five bricks because I'm making five cupcake toppers. Of course if you were making a dozen you would roll out your worm longer and go ahead and cut out all 12 little bricks all at once. This is very easy to do. Three, four, and five. Okay. So there are my five little bricks for each one of my cupcake toppers. And I now take my lolly stick and I'm going to insert it into one of the bricks. And you do not need to dip your stick in any edible glue because the paper that this lolly stick is made out of, it naturally sticks to the gum paste, okay? So I just gently hold my brick between my fingers and insert the lolly stick right in the center as straight as possible and I'm twisting as I'm pushing it in. And the reason I have my fingers on it is for two reasons. So the brick doesn't lose its shape plus as I'm pushing the lolly stick in, I can actually feel where it is on the inside. So right now, I can tell that the lolly stick, the tip of it has come all the way to about here. And then just reshape. Okay. Press it back down again to make sure that the bottom is completely flat. This is the part that's going to be touching the back of my, my topper. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and insert sticks and in all of my other little bricks here. Okay, so now I have my five lolly sticks completely prepared and they're inside each little gum paste brick. And as you can see here, I have five makeup sponges or little makeup wedges. We use these a lot here in the studio. And so what I'm going to do is take one of my edible images and turn it over. And also be very careful that you have this, you know, in the right direction because it has happened before where we thought we were gluing it on, gluing it on correctly and it turns out we were putting it completely in the wrong place. So I know that this is upright, okay? I'm going to take my little brick and this is the flat part that was up against the table and I'm going to add a little bit of edible glue 
to the back of the brick. Again, you don't need tons of glue, you just need enough to make it tacky. Remember, the more glue you add, the longer it takes to dry. So just a little bit, and I'm going to place it right at the bottom. Notice how the bottom of the brick is flush with the bottom of the topper. You don't want to put it way up here, okay? You want to put it down here at the bottom. And then just hold it and gently press it down to make sure that the little brick is attached to the back of your edible image. And what I'm going to do here is place my edible image on top of my foam. And then I'm going to, just for, for extra precaution, place the sponge underneath here just to make sure that it doesn't go down with time. You want it to stay nice and straight. All right guys, so here I have my edible image cupcake toppers. They've been drying for a few hours now and they feel nice and, and dry by now. And we'll probably leave these overnight until they are 100%, especially these little brick parts, but I wanna show you what they look like at this point. Okay, when we add these to our cupcakes, we insert them standing up and depending on the height of your cupcake and your buttercream swirl at the top, you may or may not have to trim the lolly stick. So we always insert one just to test it out and if I have to cut it, then I know to cut all the other ones around that same height. So here they are, <laughs> our awesome edible image cupcake. Who's your team? Toppers. That's what you gotta ask them. Who is your team? Yeah, that'd be cool. Comment underneath the video, guys, and let us know which is your favorite team or who you're going for during these uh, tournaments. So we hope you guys enjoyed our edible image cupcake topper idea. And as you can see, they are very, very fun to do, very easy to do. And uh, if you guys create your own, we would love to see them on our wall in our Facebook page. So thank you for being a subscriber. And we look forward to hearing from you. Be sure to follow us on Instagram as well. God bless everybody. Take care. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to visit Haniela's YouTube channel to see her full tutorial on her awesome basketball hoop cupcakes.